take a train to somewhere we don't even know where we're going so we don't get lost. Hi, I'm Noah Takes the World. Currently in Japan, solo traveling a lot. And you might think, Noah, why are you going somewhere you know nothing about? Taking a random train? That seems silly. Well, there's a reason I'm doing this and I will soon reveal it. But for now, enjoy the vibes of me on this train because it was a vibe. I literally do not know what I am doing. I don't even know where I am. I'm at, now it's, now I can't even say. This week at work, it's been my first real week on the job without like any help. It's been okay. It's not been my favorite, mainly because of people kind of stressing me out. I feel like I don't know anything and then I'm expected to already know it. I mean like, I really don't like this. First weeks of jobs always are terrible. But I'm just very impatient and I'm like, if I hate it right now, I'm gonna hate it forever. Why did I move to Japan? It's very dramatic. I'm very dramatic. It definitely is getting better. Like Saturday wasn't as bad and that's my busiest day. That's because I was so busy. No one really was telling me how bad I was doing. <laughs> I feel like I wake up and I'm just stressed. I have to go to work, I have to go to work. I don't really have time where I don't think about work. So it's a lot of compounded things. Maybe it's a little homesickness too, culture shock. So then I told myself, I need to remind myself why I came to Japan. That was to explore. It wasn't to teach English, to be honest. It was to get experience, but. So I'm going to explore. But I didn't really have time to plan. If you guys know me, I always plan super intensively when I explore them time. So I just found a local train that goes to another prefecture and I said, I'm going there. There's the bullet train, the Shinkansen, and there's local trains and there's other trains, but Shinkansen is like five times expensive compared to the local trains. You don't go as far with the local trains and it's slow, but I'm not about to fork over a ton of money right now. So I said, I'm gonna take a local train that goes to another prefecture, which is like a state, and explore. So I'm by like the ocean. I have no freaking idea what to do here. I did no research, but we're gonna try it regardless. The train ride to here was actually phenomenal, 10 out of 10, to de-stress either explore, like hike, chill and clean. I decided to explore. I wasn't gonna hike because it's not ball colors yet and I went to hike the house down boots when, has when it is fall time. So this is just kind of like a little chill day trip. Let's see where life takes us today in. No way to, no way to, I don't think I'm saying that right. I don't know how to say the t's at the end. I began my day walking from the train station that I couldn't pronounce to the ocean and to be honest, it wasn't my favorite walk. It was a little not aesthetic. This beach, it's not safe for swimming. Not that I would want to swim in here. It doesn't look very appealing. Definitely ain't no Hawaii beach, but a beach is a beach. Literally just walking around. I found a map of the town. The map had like five spots to, I think touristy spots to hit. So I'm gonna try to hit those. We're just trying new things today. We're trying to break the feelings that I've been having that I don't enjoy having. I'm sure I have these feelings a lot when I leave home and go to a different place. But I don't remember them being as aggressive. Hmm, isn't that interesting? After fueling up on crackers, I actually found a real tourist spot, the aquarium. Not doing the aquarium because the line was too long, but I didn't want to wait like a 30 minutes or an hour just to see really expensive prices. I don't think I care that much about aquarium. It would be kind of cool though. Escape the heat for a bit, but it's pretty. It's pretty. I explored a shrine dedicated to a very important founder of a sect of Buddhism in Japan, and I explored a Buddhist temple. This is really cool and really, really nice, really actually physically cool because of the trees. I did some more meandering and I found a Shinto shrine and I again didn't really know what it was but I really liked the vibes. <laughs> These trees are so cool. There's a shrine up there but it's a lot of stairs. I actually took the stairs and I got food as a reward. I had a very successful lunch at that supermarket. A lot of these supermarkets have little cafes you can sit in. I got a wi-fi. I was able to look up a few things and 
plan out the rest of my day. So it's getting better. We're going to go to Castle Ruins, then we're going to take a train to a real castle. Let's see if that all works. 30 minutes later. <sighs> I'm just trying to find the Castle Ruins. Hopefully this won't flop. I really don't know what it is. It's just on Google Maps. Although I didn't know it, I was about to visit one of the most important landmarks in the area. It was once a fortress for a very powerful feudal lord. Looks like we have to hike a bit to get to the castle ruins. So let's, let's hike. You're so good at it, Noah, come on. I am extremely sweaty, and this doesn't quite capture it, but it's so cool. This was quite a hike, honestly. Not very long, but just strenuous. It's so gorgeous. There really wasn't much castle on this mountain, but that's okay because the views were enough for me. I understand why this feudal lord made this his home because it was absolutely tranquil. Survive this park. Ooh. Ooh. That was probably my favorite thing I've done today. Even though there's no castle ruins, it's just like the foundation. There was little markers that said stuff in English. I didn't really understand everything, but the views were a day for it. Imagine if that castle was still here on that gorgeous mountain. Uh, it would be too powerful. That would be my ideal setting. The view, the vibes. There's coast, there's mountains, there's green. What is my obsession with views, guys? Views, I actually am obsessed with views too, you know, like YouTube views, it's not healthy. Every time I turn on the camera, I look worser and worser. Took the train from a place I can't say because it's really long to Takada. And I think there's a castle here, at least Google Maps says so. And I'm gonna explore that little castle. I bet the castle will be closed, like I can't go into it, but I don't really care. The police, the Koban, give me a big old stare. We went, who's that? I don't think I've seen a single foreigner today. Okay, let's go. I'm so tired. Okay, these vibes are immaculate. An orange bridge, lily pad pond. It's not called that in Japanese. I can't remember what it's called. Got pizza. It's literally potato and egg sausage pizza. There was like a, uh, my favorite style, like the margarita pizza, but it was like $9. I was, I was like, I'm not spending $9 when this was five. Although the castle wasn't very grand, I guess you could say, it was still cool and it's a very famous area for cherry blossom season. So I need to come back when the cherry blossoms are blossoming, right? It's six o'clock and it's almost pitch black. The castle is not lit up, so it's hard to see, but it's still cool. It's a very pretty area. I love the moats with castles. I love a good moat. As a kid, I would just make moats for fun in the dirt all the time and imagine kingdoms. So kind of like this. Very random memory, but I think this helped. This week, it wasn't like terrible, but definitely could have been better, and this is helping give me a perspective. Part of me is like, there's no reason to stay if I don't like it. But like, this is the reason to stay. Silly Noah. But yeah, this has been a fun day. I'm a little worried about how it would go, but I went, it went fairly well. I really liked the castle ruins and then exploring Akara. Maybe I should stop planning my trip and just wing it. No. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching another solo Japanese adventure. Travel with me, watch my videos, support me, and I'll see you on the next solo trip to Kadon.